what would I want with a big TV like this? Well, this screen right here has a Fresnel lens inside. What happens is light comes from the back, it shines up on the screen, and it makes a big picture. What happens if we do the opposite? Take light from the outside and let it focus in to one beam. Well, we can make an intense solar cooker with this bad boy, kind of like magnifying glass that you used to use summertime when you are a little kid, only we can make a massive one with this. I made a video about a year ago showing how you can use this Fresnel lens to cook things and burn things. And then I started to get a whole bunch of questions about, well, how did I make the frame for it? And I just assumed people would go to the internet and find something, but people kept hounding me. So I'm gonna compile all the leftover footage into an explanation of how to build the frame for this. But in the meantime, for the dissection phase of this great projection TV, there are some things I found were very valuable. These lenses that are inside of here have proven to be super valuable for other experiments, along with some of the electronics that were inside of here. When I take something apart, I keep all the valuables. You're gonna see a video later on with these amazing lenses. Now, to get this thing apart, you gotta take the front of the TV off, and we're just trying to get at one of the layers. All right, there are several layers in the screen on a projection TV. You're gonna have to peel those apart and get at the most valuable one. These first two, you can save those for other projects, but they're not gonna work for this one. This is what we're after. This is the Fresnel lens. This is a huge sheet of plastic that's been formed such that it focuses the light into one spot. It actually does the opposite on the projection TV, but we're gonna use it to focus light into one spot. Now, building the frame is pretty straightforward. There's just a few tips and tricks. I'm using one by one pine because it's cheap, and all I did was lay out the Fresnel lens and then build a frame around the outside of it. I took some of the one bys and I ripped them down in half so that I could get a nice inlay of the Fresnel lens. Now, here's a good trick. Lay some of those down, because what you're gonna want, you don't want this thing to be warped. So, if you lay it down nice and flat on top of some of those ripped one bys, you can get it in here and it'll stay nice and firm and flat, and you're gonna have a great Fresnel lens for burning things up. So here was my first trial run. Almost instantly, it starts the paper towel on fire. So I knew this thing was gonna be good. I knew we were headed in the right direction. Now I've just got bolts, some washers, and some wing nuts. You can find whatever works best for you, but what I found I needed to do was take my bolts and grind off one side so that it was flat. The reason for that is I need to mount that frame onto some tall legs to hold it up. And if you look here, you gotta have a flat side so it doesn't scratch your Fresnel lens. Now the tall legs coming up, I got my little helper there screwing things together. You can make those really any way you want. I found this to be a really good design and I drilled several different holes so I could change the height of my Fresnel lens depending on what I was trying to burn. And then I just started trialing a few things. Now, if you wanna see all sorts of stuff burning up under this, cans exploding, a lot of exciting things, you can click on the link down in the description. It'll take you to that video. But for this one, again, I just wanted people to be able to see the frame since there were so many questions. And one of the things that I didn't include in that other video was I thought it'd be really cool to turn this into a Etch-a-Sketch that would burn. So I made a few things. By burning a few things, eh, we called it a day. Such is the life of Beale Science. I tell you what, get out there and make one of these. You know what, and keep on learning. If you want to learn more, come on over to BeleScience.com or click to subscribe. We'll keep on making videos.